my horse got spooked when I was out riding today, but I got him to calm down since he trusted me. Way to go. I'm glad you got home safe. You know, that's also what it's like with God. Have you ever ridden a horse? I'm Zach, and this is Keys for Kids. Thanks for stopping by. You know, horses can be surprised even by something as small as a blowing leaf. And when a horse gets spooked, he's hard to control. But if your horse trusts you, he'll calm down and not be afraid anymore. It's like trusting God. Listen to what God says in this verse from Isaiah. Don't worry, I am with you. Do not be afraid because I am your God. I will make you strong and help you. I will support you with my right hand. Our story today is called Spooked. Danae was excited when she returned home from an afternoon of horseback riding. That was so much fun, she told her family. We went on a trail ride through the woods. My horse was spooked once, but I didn't fall off. Spooked? asked Dallas, Danae's little brother. Did you see a ghost? Danae laughed. <laughs> no, Dallas. It's just that when horses see something they don't expect, like a piece of paper blowing in the wind, they might all of a sudden jump sideways or try to run away. We call that being spooked. If you're not a good rider, you might fall off when the horse does that. Horses are so big, said Dallas. Why would papers scare them? Danae shrugged. I don't know. They just do. But if the horse knows you and trusts you, he usually calms down and you can get him to go places he'd be scared to go otherwise. Sounds like you learned a lot about horses and how to ride them, said Dad. Your description of how a horse responds when he trusts his rider is a good picture of how we should respond when we truly trust God. Danae tilted her head. You mean we shouldn't be afraid to go wherever God wants us to go because we can trust Him to take care of us? Exactly, said Dad. We need to trust Him in every situation. Sometimes we get spooked when unexpected things happen in our lives. We need to trust God to take us through all the scary places. Like when Mom was diagnosed with cancer? asked Dallas. That was scary. Mom nodded. It was scary for me, too. But your dad's right. We can trust God to take care of us in scary situations like that. Even though I was afraid of what might happen, I knew that because Jesus died to save me, he would always be with me through everything. Knowing that gave me peace and helped me not be afraid. I didn't know I'd learn all this just from horseback riding, Danae said. A mischievous grin crept across Dallas's face. Maybe it's time for me to take lessons, too, so we can all learn about Jesus. Well, how about you? What things in life spook you? What scares you or makes you nervous? When you face scary situations, remember that Jesus is with you and in control of everything that happens. He loves you so much that he gave his life for you, and he promises to take care of you. So trust him to help you through any situation. Our key verse today is Psalm 56, 11. In God I have put my trust. I will not be afraid. And our key thought for today, trust God in scary situations. Do you have a storyteller yet? It's a portable MP3 player with a whole year of keys for kids stories and an audio Bible. One thing I love about it is that it doesn't use batteries because it's solar powered. Every storyteller comes with its own creature feature stuffed animal case so you can carry it. Plus, if you buy one, we'll send one to a kid around the world who can't afford it. It's a great way to listen to Keys for Kids no matter where you are. So check it out today at keysforkids.org storyteller. I'm Zach, and this is Keys for Kids. Keys for Kids.